who is the ex-wife of T.J. Holmes, an overview of Marilee Phoebe Holmes. After 12 years of marriage, T.J. Holmes and Marilee Phoebe Holmes are divorcing. Holmes and Phoebe Holmes formally filed for divorce in December, in accordance with available court records, following the Good Morning America host sighting of Amy Robach in upstate New York in November while the two were holding hands. In regards to Holmes and Robach, who wed actor Andrew Shu in 2010, a source previously told People that this was two consenting adults who were each separated. Within weeks of one another, they each split from their husbands in August. After that, the relationship really began to take shape. After getting hitched in March 2010, Holmes and Phoebe Holmes welcomed their first child, a daughter called Sabine, into the world in January 2013. Holmes has two children from a former marriage to Amy Furson, Brianna, a daughter, and Jaden, a son. Learn more about Phoebe Holmes in the sections that follow, from her amazing history in fashion to her legal practice. Her father was a Peace Corps volunteer, and her mother is from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where Phoebe Holmes was born. My mother wanted my siblings and I to fully benefit from the educational opportunities that she didn't have growing up in Africa, she told Marie Claire, so our family moved to the United States when I was five years old. She continued by saying that her move to the United States had really pushed her to pursue a legal career. Being married to a U.S. citizen and raising children with dual nationalities at the time, I witnessed my mom go through the immigration procedure, and that whole process struck a chord with me, the author says. Phoebe Holmes obtained her undergraduate degree from the University of Michigan before enrolling in Vanderbilt University Law School, as stated in her bio on Unlock Her Potential. A daughter named Sabine, Phoebe Holmes' first child with Holmes, was born in January 2013. She also gained stepparent status for Brianna and Jaden, Holmes' children from a previous relationship, through their marriage. During the Marie Claire interview, she talked openly about how her daughter's advancing age has altered her morning ritual. She told the newspaper, I make sure I'm dressed and ready when she wakes up, give her food, and then walk her to school. Even so, I still feel like she and I are constantly rushing to leave the house. I enjoy going on walks with her because we can speak about anything, it's nice to spend time together. Since June 2021, Phoebe Holmes, who has experience in immigration law, has held the position of Chief Diversity Officer at Save the Children. Before switching to the business sector, Marley spent more than a decade practicing immigration law, according to her biography on the organization's website, committed to directly influencing the wide spectrum of individuals pursuing possibilities in the United States and beyond. Phoebe Holmes has also applied her legal training to the realm of fashion. She worked as Wilhelmina Models VP of Operations and General Counsel, assisting the modeling agency in bringing models to the United States. She describes herself on Instagram as a fashion and entertainment executive. She also developed up the company's internal operations structure, dealing with staffing concerns, contracts, and corporate litigation through her job, according to a prior Marie Claire article. In 2021, Phoebe Holmes was the chief of staff of Rock Nation, J Entertainment Z's company, before joining Save the Children. With her standing, according to her biography on Unlock Her Potential, she served as the CEO's right hand on all Rock Nation platforms and business demands. Phoebe Holmes is a mentor for Unlock Her Potential, a program started by Sophia Chang that aims to offer mentorship for women of color, according to the group's Instagram account, in addition to working in law and fashion.